Hey, what's up guys? Growing the Hobby coming to you today with a brand new baseball break. Uh, a little bit of a mixer today. I'm actually a little bit excited. Going to be breaking 30 random packs from mostly 2018 and 2019. Uh, with a little bit of other sprinkles here and there. Um, but some really cool packs. Real quick, let's fill in the background. Show you what we got here. From one of my, actually all these cards have something to do with the packs today. Um, so we are going to be opening packs of the cards I'm going to show you here on display. But we start with a uh, 2019, you guys have seen most of these cards actually. A 2019 uh, Topps Chrome Update. Purple Parallel, 123, 175. Show it to you real quick. There we go. You see the name. It's my Vladdy Guerrero Jr. rookie card that I pulled from a Walmart pack, believe it or not. We'll put that up there real quick. From another recent pull uh, on a video for you guys of my 2018 update uh, pack breaks, I pulled this legendary All-Stars card, gold, of the legend himself, Babe Ruth, number 40 of 50. So I did pull that on camera for you guys. That was a pretty cool pull. I liked it personally, at least. Put that back here. And center stage, yep, you guys see this quite a bit with my 2018 update, but I got to show it because this is definitely one of the cards we're looking for today. The Acuna Jr. PSA 10 2018 update uh, Acuna Jr. rookie card. I am looking for the variations and stuff. As you guys know, the bat down, gold, rainbow foil, etc. But anyway, those are some of the packs. And real quick, let's breeze through and show you guys what we're going to be ripping and breaking today in no particular order at all. The 30 packs. First, we start with three packs of 2019 Series 1, and they are fat packs. And these packs all today, guys, are retail, I think, except for maybe a couple of them, which actually, here's two that I see are hobby right off the bat. We're going to do two of these 2013 Pinnacles. These are hobby packs. Uh, we're going to do two of those. We got a 2019 opening day fat pack here. So we'll throw that out there. Let's go backwards a little bit to 2018 Series 1. We got 1, 2, 3, 4 2018 Series 1 packs. Uh, let's see. We got five packs of 2019 uh, Heritage. This is going to be your low number ones, not the sought-after high number ones of the 2019 with all the good rookies. But we do have one fat pack of 2018 Heritage high number. So that is going to be a cool one. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got two packs. 2019 Stadium Club. We got one pack of 2019 Allen and Ginter. We got another three packs of the 2019 uh, Chrome Update. We got one pack of 2018 Series 2. And then we're going to do a little bit of comparisons. So we got one pack of 2018 uh, fire and we got three packs of 2019 fire to follow that with and then our final comparison we got two 2019 update packs to compare to our pack of 2018 update so that's 30 packs guys and guess what all 30 of these packs came from uh the target heart hot corner boxes that i ordered in the mail like I said, I broke most of these off camera just to get to the packs and make sure that I was getting plenty of this product. The reason I bought so many, the 2018 update, which I found to be basically my entire shipment of 71 boxes. So I have quite a bit of loose packs. I figured we'd do a mixer today. Hopefully have a little bit of luck. Uh, wide array of products to go over and go through. I'm not going to have too much organization to this other than a couple of comparisons that I showed you guys. I'll try and save some of the better ones towards the end. But other than that, guys, I'm going to try and get right to this. And why don't we start with the oldest first, our two hobby packs, 2013 Pinnacle. I have countless dozens of these packs. We'll probably do them all maybe on a future break. We'll just dedicate a break day to all 2013 Pinnacle. Because I actually have had some luck pulling some autographs out of here and stuff. You can't get some decent cards. It's not my favorite, but you can. Uh, so here we got a Justin Upton, Giancarlo Stanton, 
And spinning around for an Eric Hosmer. We do have some type of insert here. I think it's one of those clear ones. I can't remember what they're called. Adam Wainwright, and it is one of those clear ones. It is a Clear Vision. That's the name of Clear Vision. And this is a home run Starling Castro. Uh, I don't believe these are numbered or anything. Uh, no, they're not. But they are just kind of cool. I like that see-through, and they're a thicker stock card. Pretty cool. Uh, Jose Bautista. Giovanni Gallardo and a Zach Wheeler rookie finish that pack. Pack number two, the final pack of the 2013 Pinnacle. Hopefully an autograph at least. Uh, George Brett, Starling Castro. I wonder if that George Brett, I don't know if they do even short prints in this, but we'll look into that after. Now we got a Brian Morris rookie card behind that, a Carlos Trinfell rookie. And wow, another clear card. I've not seen this type. That's a nice Andrew McCutcheon card. I was sad to see him go when the Pirates uh, finally gave him away like they do everybody else. But McCutch, uh, there, he's a decent player and a decent guy, that's for sure. That's not numbered or anything, but that's pretty cool. Uh, pinnacle success. Nice, completely clear card there. A Jason Kipnis. And we got a Justin Morneau and Curtis Granderson. So that concludes the pinnacle part. Let's do, yeah, I'm not too thrilled about this, so let's get into 2019 Series 1, the three fat packs that we have. Don't expect much from this. Probably the best hope you can have as far as the rookie class in this is a Jeff McNeil uh, rookie card, but uh, you never know. You can get some good variations and stuff. You can't get autos. Uh, we'll see. Sam Tavula, Jose Ramirez, Luke Weaver, and there we go. The best rookie you probably could have asked for in this entire uh, Series 1. Right there, that guy. The Jeff McNeil base rookie. So that is definitely probably going to be our best card. Unless we get some crazy insert or parallel. Chance Adams rookie. Ramon Laureano rookie. Michael Kopech rookie. He was one of the original highly taught after um, uh, rookies of the year. Kind of went way down in value there. Um as the course of the season went on, but maybe he'll have a bounce back year or something. Kind of really pick it up. Uh, but I do see we have a gold coming up, so hopefully a good player. And Harrison Bader uh, with the gold cup card, actually. So that that's a, probably a decent one. we got a rainbow one right behind it. That'll be out of 2019. Of course, they always make those golds out of the year. Um so that's out of 2019. And then this is going to be the rainbow foil. Wow. And you guys can kind of see in the background. We'll dress it in a minute. Nice card coming. Andrew Kashner, the rainbow foil. And those are not numbered or anything like that. But there we go. Look at that. What a card. This actually turned out to be a really good pack. We got a Mike Trout uh, 35th anniversary card. That's probably the best player I would imagine you can get in Series 1 with the 35th anniversary card. No numbering on that or anything, but that is pretty cool for sure. Anytime you pull Mike Trout, you're winning that pack uh, battle for sure. So, actually, this pack definitely surprised me. I thought this was going to be one of the worst uh, of the packs that we actually opened today. But I would say that was pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good start. We've got two more of those to go. Hopefully a little bit more luck, maybe. The luck will continue. The other thing in... in uh, these tops products, especially Series 1, Series 2, things like that, you're always looking for the photo variation cards. Um, and these, I really don't know them off the top of my head, so I'll look afterwards at the numbering. If you guys don't understand how the numbering goes, I explain that in plenty of other videos, how you check on the back to see. And there's another Mike Trout. That's decent, his base. Um, but, yeah, you're going to look at the numbers on the back, compare them to the base ones, and that's your quickest way to to discover if it uh, is a photo variation. And this guy, Cedric Mullins, I stopped on him because him and Ryan O'Hearn, I swear, have to be the worst two rookies you can pull out of the entire 2019 class. And I pull so many of them, it's unbelievable. And I see a lot of other breakers that do the same. They really loaded up these sets with them for some reason. And then we got a Dr. Doolittle right there with the 100, 150th stamp. That's cool. And, hey, there we go, the greatest players, Babe Ruth. That's nice. So quite honestly, and that looks like that's going to be our only inserts, quite honestly, the inserts that are in the middle of these fat packs, um, 
actually weren't too bad in pack one and pack two, honestly. Um, or is Goriel Jr. Future Star, is there? So that is actually surprisingly good. Hopefully this will carry on with the other packs and we pull some really good cards in the packs that have much uh, greater potential on pulling better cards. This is going to be our final pack. Uh, fat pack of the 2019 Series 1. This one has a security beeping thing, so hopefully it's because we're protecting an insane card in here. We start with an Aaron Judge. That's a hot start. Terrible corner, though. Look at this corner real quick. That's one of the things that scares me with fat packs sometimes. If you guys can see yeah, just how bent that corner is, uh, that happens sometimes. So... Fat packs do have good cards in, but the only problem is a lot of times they get bent in handling. Um, but I still do buy them quite a bit because I have had very good experience overall in pulling some pretty good cards um, out of these fat packs. And we're getting towards the center here where we're going to have our inserts. And we got our 150th stamp of Ranger Suarez uh, rookie card. At least it's a rookie. That's good. And our other is a Greatest Players Warren Spawn. So, Max Scherzer, say Barrios, Crawford, JT Martinez, or Glaber Torres, uh, Gold Cup card. We will be hunting him here momentarily in the 2018 packs. Have several of his rookies I've pulled with you guys. Hopefully, we'll have quite a few more of those to come in future breaks, maybe even today. Well, let's do, let's stick with 2019 for the heck of it. Let's just do this. Uh, Remaining fat pack here of the opening day. Let's see what we get in here. These opening day tends to be one of the cheaper products of the year. It's the first release, but it's also one of the cheaper products that you can get for the the year. Um, they all have that opening day stamp, as you see on there, all the cards. But and they definitely don't carry the same value that you know a series one or series two rookie would have. Well, what do we got here? Team Traditions and Celebrations, the Liberty Bell. It's an interesting card. And we got a Jackie Robinson, 150 Years of Fun, followed with a Derek Jeter, 150 Years of Fun. D.D. Gregorius behind that. And nothing really gigantic there. Uh, uh, which I really didn't expect anything gigantic, but uh, oh, where do we go? Where do we go? Let's do let's do the Allen Ginter. That's just lonely and sitting here. The 2019 Allen Ginter. We got one pack of this. Can pull any and all the rookies out of this, I believe. We're also looking for short prints. So Henderson, Arcia. We got a Nolan Ryan there. Uh, these weird cards. The incredible equipment. The Pied Piper's uh, pipe. <laughs> Uh, the Mini, the Collectible Canines, the Maltese, and a Ryan Yarbrough finish that pack off. Uh, nothing special there. You know what, let's do the other, the five Heritage packs, 2019 Heritage. I do not for sure expect to pull anything good out of these. The high numbers where the good cards are at, but who knows, maybe they'll absolutely shock me and I'll pull something great. I do see something shiny uh, in here. Hopefully it's a nice parallel, but we'll see. Yeah, it's a Carlos Correa, and no, it's just going to be a chrome one. I thought they were numbered, but apparently not, so that's just a Carlos Correa Topps Heritage chrome card. And behind that, we got a Mookie Betts, a Josh Hader, Saved by the Bell, and a Jose Altuve Sporting News card. Fly through these and start to get into the better cards, in my opinion. Got another one of those tops chrome or uh, heritage chrome. Maybe we get one per pack. I don't even remember at this point, but it seems it. Jake Lamb, Wade LeBlanc. <laughs> there we go. The guy that the Pirates mortgaged the farm for, Mr. Archer. Uh, still with his dreadlocks there. He got rid of those for this coming season, whenever it is, but uh, yeah. I think we all know the story of the Pirates acquiring Chris Archer. If you don't, look up the trade to see just how terrible the Pirates did. Uh, but if you ask me, it's on par with what they normally do. So, 
flying through these. And maybe you don't get one of those Chrome cards per pack because I don't see one in this pack. Uh, Aaron Judge to finish that. That's at least a decent player. And let's fly through this pack. Oh, there you go. One of these bottle, chop, bottle toppers. I think that's what they call these. I don't know. Baseball starts candy. Yeah, these little things. The Matt Carpenter there. Not really much value of those, and they're kind of a pain to uh, keep, uh, you know, without losing them because they just fly right out of the packs anyway. Even if you had something of value, they're kind of tough to keep in good condition. Uh, final pack of this. Kristen Yelich, uh, New Age Performers. That's not a numbered card or anything. JB, give that one to my son again, as you guys know. That is his big PC guy that he loves. Um, you know what? Let's stick with Heritage. Even though the potential is to pull a good player is in this car, I was going to save it towards the end, but this is the one and only fat pack of 2018 Heritage High number I have. The big ones out of this are going to be uh, the obvious Ronald Acuna Jr., but also Juan Soto. I believe his car is actually has a higher Beckett value than the Acuna Jr., but uh, let's see if we have some luck here. We start with a Jordan Hicks rookie. That's nice. A Jesse Biddle rookie. We got Forsyth, Daniel Polka rookie. Santander rookie, Lance Lynn, Darren O'Day. What a mustache. Look at that mustache. You got to appreciate that. Uh, Austin Romine, second one. Oh, uh, panic time now and then. Giancarlo Stanton award winners. Matt Duffy, Shane Green, a J.D. Davis rookie. Seth Lugo, Matt Albers, Brian Goodwin, David Peralta, Marcus Walden, rookie, and we finish with a Sergio Sergio Romo. Um, so no gigantic rookie or anything like that popped off the page there. For me, let's do 2019 uh, Stadium Club. We've got two of these packs to just kind of fly through here. And look at this. This is actually stickered. If you see the trading cards, MLB trading cards. Must have been out of a, a store or something. They tried to sell these and... Just said, okay, you know what, we'll just throw them into the hot corner boxes. <laughs> uh, the Fairfield Company that makes the hot corner boxes. Uh, but let's see if we get something and get lucky here. Uh, David Peralta. I'm not going to turn all these cards around. Uh, Justin Verlander. We got a red Carlos Santana. I don't believe the red is numbered or anything like that. It's not. Hey, Frank Thomas. That might be a short print if they do this because that's definitely a Legends type card. But maybe they don't because there's another one right behind it, Jose Canseco. So I have to look a little bit more into that after. I don't collect too much Stadium Club. So that is definitely one of the products I break less of. Uh, Travis Shaw. Rowdy Telez, rookie. We got a Warp Speed Trevor Story. Dansby Swanson and Jose Altuve. So I don't think anything spectacular out of that stuff unless I miss some crazy short print. Let's do these four packs of 2018 Series 1 because Series 2 is actually where the better rookie class is for 2018. So we'll probably fly through these. I'm not saying you can't get any good rookies, but Garrett Richards, uh, Martin Prado. We got a rainbow foil in this one. Matt Adams, Giancarlo Stanton, and our rainbow foil is Adrian Beltre. See that nice shine to that, and those are not going to be numbered or anything like that. No, Buster Posey, Legends of the Making, Matt Joyce, Alex Verdugo, Corey Dickerson, and a Josh Reddick to finish that pack. This one was definitely a hanger pack. The last one did not seem to be, uh, the one after it will not be, and then this one, as you can see, was a hanger pack as well. Uh, we got a Frankie Lindor, uh, James Paxton, Miggy Cabrera, uh, rookie of Francisco Maya, Lucas Sims rookie, Willie Calhoun rookie, and a Carlos Correa 35th card. Um, can you see the crease in this? Oh, it's horrible. Look at that right there at the bottom of the card. It goes all the way through this card. Absolutely terrible. Uh, Travis Darno, George Springer, uh, Jonathan Vlar, 
and Daryl Simmons and a Giancarlo Stanton before he went to the Yankees. Let's do this hanger pack. And let's see what we get out of these last two. We got an Alvis Andrews, uh, Salvi Perez, Holly Kendrick, Brandon Woodruff, Clint Frazier, a rookie. That is a decent one for the Yankees there. We got a Kyle Seeger, 35th card. Legends of the Making, Mike Trot. Probably the best one you can get out of that. Why does that look like that might be a parallel? No, it's not. Because some of these Legends of the Making, they do short prints on stuff like that. That's not, though. Uh, Jose Altuve. Luis Gahara, Dexter Fowler, and we finish this with a David Dahl and a Mike Leak. Yeah, all right, final 2018 Series 1 pack. And we'll probably just move right into the 2018 Series 2 loan pack that we have here. Uh, Hunter Renfro, Mike Clevenger, Adam Wainwright, uh, Trey Turner, J.D. Davis, uh, rookies, the rookies, rookie card. Josh Donaldson, opening day. Future stars, Dansby Swanson. Brad Hand. Edgar Enciarte. Uh, <laughs> Matt Harvey. Sorry, they kind of stumbled on that for some reason. All right, 2018 Series 2, our loan pack. Let's see if we have any luck in here. This is the second most sought-after packs of 2018, other than, or I should say, after the update. Jose Ozuna, uh, Gerardo Parra, Manny Margot, Future Stars, Jace Peterson, uh, Guillermo Heredia, Austin Hedges, Adam Duvall. It looks like we actually have a gold. Mark Melanson. Wow. The Shark. He was in the Shark Tank there. That's what they called the Pirates bullpen. You can see that's uh, 2018 um, when he played for the Buccos, and the Buccos actually did good for a couple of years. He was part of that Shark Tank bullpen uh, when they were some of the best in the league there. Uh, Blake Tryon and Matt Davidson finished that, so nothing stupendous there. Let's do, how about we do, we'll save the comparisons for the end. So we got three packs of this 2019 Chrome update. Four cards per pack. It should be pretty quick to break. And then we'll get into our last packs. Uh, Domingo Santana, Josh Donaldson, Greatest players, Cal Ripken Jr. and a family business, Ken Griffey Jr. No numbering or anything like that are going to be on those. Pack number two. A Nix Senzel, a rookie. That's a decent player, at least. Michael Chavez, rookie. A Ricky Henderson, greatest moments. And a family business, Tony Gwynn. So I guess they like to make two of the four cards inserts there at the end. Looks like we're going to end with another family business card here in this pack of Robbie Cano. A uh, Corbin Martin, rookie, Nolan Arenado, Christian Yelich, all-star card, and the family business, Robbie Cano. All right, so our comparison packs. Let's do fire first, and then we'll end with the update. So we got three of these 2019 fire packs. Let's break those first. Wow, there we go. You guys know who my big PC guy is, right? You see it right on the back there. All right, this pack's going to end with a bang. My favorite player for sure. And look at the front. Wow, what a pack. Evil Jimenez. I'd say we got two of the four biggest rookies you can actually pull out of this. Uh, front and back here. Corey Seager. And then this is going to be our orange, I think they call this. Let's see. It's, no, it's actually not numbered. I'm surprised. I get a lot of numbered cards out of this, but that was not one. Uh, Giancarlo Stanton. Uh, King rookie. And there he is. Yes, we know that's going to go in a sleeve and straight to my PC for sure. I uh, love me my Alonzo cards. Check out my other videos uh, if you want to see the world's greatest uh, Pete Alonzo collection, at least in my opinion. I've been trying to collect basically anything and everything, this guy. Uh, look at this. Sin Shoot Shoo. Ah, shoot, not numbered. I thought it was at least a numbered one. It's not. Sandra Bogarts, Freddie Freeman, and Charlie Blackmon finish that pack all right final 2019 fire and look at this guys it's not the rookie but hey that's what we want to pull out of the next pack that we're going to get to the one and only 2018 that we have but there we go ronald Cunha is going to finish this pack and we got a glaber day in the front how about that let's have the same cards but in the 2018 version uh jim tomey my gosh it's got to be a 
throwback card there. Reese Hoskins. Oh, is this an Aaron and Nola? Look at that, another Alonzo rookie. That makes me happy. If you can't tell by the girly girliness in my voice there. <laughs> I do love my Alonzos. Uh, and then we got the Ronald Acuna to finish that pack that we talked about. Let's compare that to the 2018. Then we got the one single pack of six cards in this pack. This is the one that I would love to pull another big rookie out of for sure. We got one chance at this. Start with a George Springer. What a vastly different uh, kind of comparison here. Let's just do a one quick side by side. You can see it's quite a bit of difference. It looks like artistic splash in the background, just like exploded paint. And this one's a little bit more uniform. Uh, but George Springer, Randy Johnson there, uh, Maurer. And uh, let's see. No, of course it's not numbered. The Garrett Richards there is a red but not numbered. Uh, rookie and Hunter Renfro. So, yeah, nothing too great in the 2018, unfortunately. I was hoping it would be, but no. All right, our final three packs. Thank you guys for sticking around for this. We're going to compare the two packs of 2019 update to the one pack of 2018 update. Uh, definitely big rookie chances in these uh, packs for sure and let's see if we get anybody good we're gonna kind of fly through these for the most part I promise I'll stop if we get something good there's Vladdy senior perennial all-stars card uh, Frankie Lindor Chris Bryant Kevin Pillar Carlos Satana and Edwin Diaz so nothing stupendous in that pack last pack of 2019 update and we start with a Cole Tucker rookie there. And John, Sean Anderson, a Jeff McNeil, all-star game rookie. DJ LeMahieu, uh, look at that. That is one that I have not seen, actually. Eloy Jimenez, the greatest player's rookie. So that's one of our four big ones. And look, we got an Adrian Sampson 150, 150th stamp there, rookie card. Wish that was one of the other rookies. And followed with a Shohei Otani unique cycle. I've also not seen that card. AJ Pollock, Brad Boxberger, Xander Bogarts, uh, James McCann, Chris Paddock, rookie, and a Josh Van Meter rookie, and that. Final pack, guys. 2018 series, update series. You guys know who we're looking for. I don't need to say them. You know there's a lot of good rookies in here. I break a lot of this product on here. Check out my other videos if you haven't. Uh, let's see if we get one of the big rookies in here. I'll take just one. <laughs> Mark Kampha, one of these don't blinks. Ozzy Smith. Jack Flaherty is going to be our 35th throwback rookie there. Yeah, Argus rookie, Joey Wendell, and Aaron Ola. So no big rookie there. So quite honestly, out of everything today that I broke, guys, this is me personally. I'm sure you guys will have differing opinions. That's my big card, just for my PC reasons only. Love my Pete Alonzo cards. Always good to pull another Pete Alonzo rookie. I have quite a few of those. Um, but, yeah, guys, sorry that dragged out a little bit. I had no clue how long this would actually go for when I set the 30 packs aside. Uh, at least it was less than one minute per pack in the end. Uh, but, anyway, like, subscribe, share. Plenty, plenty, plenty more baseball videos upcoming. Uh, if you guys like hockey, definitely check out this channel, too. I got a lot of hockey breaks. And I do some football and basketball, too, every now and then. We're really trying to build this channel up, make it something good, guys. I appreciate any and all support you guys can give. Also, hit that bell notification button so you guys are notified of when new videos are coming. Uh, lots and lots of videos being uploaded here. If you haven't been able to tell, I do it quite a bit. Other than that, guys, have a great day, a great night. I hope you guys are staying safe, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.